Wilbert uh, Biggins. Also want to mention uh, that R.C. is enjoying a birthday today. R.C. Slocum, it's his birthday today. And we have a member of our athletic department family back home, Liz Dalton. It's also her birthday. All right, with that out of the way, we are about to get it underway, and there it goes. It is a sidewinder that's going to hit about the 15, and it's going to be knocked down back at the 4 and finally picked up by Simmons at the 4, and he'll get out to about the 13, 14-yard line. Randy had trouble getting a sidewinding kick that hit flat and then scooted from the 20 down to about the 10. Lead back will be Carter, the fullback. Richardson, the man under, and they will have play action, and Bucky's going to throw him first down. Gets away from one man, rolls to his right, hits Carter out of the backfield, up at about the 30-yard line, and then goes out of bounds at the 30. He hits somebody head on as the ball is caught. It was Scott Hines that hit him. Through from our 16-yard line into the win, and from the 30, and it off to Greg Hill over the left side, gets three to the 33-yard line. Mitchell comes wide to the left side, and that'll be Harrison off to the right, out of an eye formation. Start the option, going back to the right, Bucky will keep it, trying to get to the corner, and he's bounced out at the 35-yard line, up to about the 36. And they will have two wideouts with a slot to the left, the open side of the field, tight end right. Bucky. Starts the option, now pitch it back to Greg. This side is open, he'll get a first down. There is going to be, there's no clip as he gets the ball out. Now there's a flag. And I saw it, and I don't know why it wasn't called immediately, but the run goes to the 44. He'll tackle there, that was a first down, but there was a clip on the corner, and the Ags are going to be penalized from the spot of the infraction at the 40. A single setback, and Carter flared to the right with a slot in that direction. Bucky rolling to the right, looking down the field, will throw the ball, and it is caught for a first down by Harrison at the 43-yard line. First down play from our 43, running from an eye. And it goes to Doug Carter. And Carter is hit behind the line of scrimmage at the 43. A yard loss. Tungy Bolden made the stop for TCU. Doug Carter's best game this year, six carries, 53 yards against USL. Second down at 11 from an eye formation. Flanker way to the left side. And play action. Bucky now coming back this way. Wide open. He'll run at least to the 50. They're closing on him as he gets it to the TCU 43-yard line. Bucky needs 38 yards to pass Marty Akins for a Southwest Conference quarterback rushing for a career. 38 coming into the ballgame. Got 14 there. First down play with motion. And pitch it to Greg. Looks for a hole on the right side. Started out to the wide right. Then he came back in and is knocked down at the 42. He picked up a yard. And Richardson now has a single setback. And Sharp, a tight end, flared to the left. Ball favors Hashmark left. Drops back, throws, and it skips it into the turf at about the 38-yard line. Incomplete. That split back formation on this third down and nine from the TCU 42. Drops straight back from the pocket, throws the ball, and it is caught by Harrison at the 25-20. Down the sideline he goes, run out of bounds at the 9-yard line. He made a nice move as he stepped back away from the receiver, and in rather bringing that ball back to the near sideline, he took it back to the middle of the field or toward the near side hash mark and was eventually tackled by Greg Evans. But that may be, uh, you see, a, a situation there of a Tony Harrison growing up a little bit and maturing as a receiver. This was an excellent pattern and an excellent throw. Bucky hit him right between the numbers, and it ends up being after the run from Tony Harrison. It ends up being a 33-yard gain inside the 10-yard line, first and goal from the 9. At the 9, hash left, I formation. As the ball, hands it off to Greg. Greg looking for a hole. He's free for a moment, goes to the 4-yard line. I think we've got a third tight end as well. They'll hand it off again, almost tripped up in the backfield, and then falling forward will be Greg Hill. Patrick Connolly got him around the ankles, and he fell forward across the five to the four-yard line. This is our Rhino offense. We've got three tight ends and two fullbacks in there. Richardson counting. Rolls to his right as he has the ball under a lot of pressure. Gets away from one man. Still looking toward the end zone. Will throw the ball, and it is deflected out of bounds in the end zone. The effort will be from the 12. Are you going to call it 13? 23-yard effort. Ball almost in the middle of the field. Spotted down. The kick is up. And it's good. And the Aggies now have scored on the first possession of every ball game this year. And that will uh, 7, 8, I guess that's 10 ball games in a row now that the Aggies have scored on their first possession. The uh, 12th man kickoff man tonight will be... Derek Mills, and it's going to be an in-under-in kick. It's going to be way short. Two men run into each other. It's on the turf. Who's got it? The Aggies may have recovered the ball. 
We are waiting for a pile up at the 21. That short kick was fumbled by one of the up backs for TCU, dropped. And they're trying to get it all uncovered at the 21 yard line. Still no indication from Joe Thomas or any member of his crew. Aggies are pointing in our direction. Joe Thomas has said nothing. That's who we're going to. Ah, TCU got it. Vogler will be their quarterback. The single setback. Let's see if that's Motkins. It is. And now the Aggies have called a timeout. First down and 10, TCU. Ashmark right, single setback. And now Vogler, play action. Rolling back to the left. There's oh, a we've flag. Stopped. There was movement in their offensive line. Vogler started to step back without the football. One of their linemen moved. And it'll be a five-yard markoff against TCU. So it's going to be a first down and 15. First play whistle dead as they started uh, in motion to the left side. Motkins, the single setback, has gone in motion. Straight drop Vogler. Hit as he throws the ball. Intercepted by the Aggies. It'll be Frazier at the 20, at the 15, at the 10. He will score. That is a touchdown. Frazier with his interception. Derek returning that one. We'll get the return in a moment. But his first interception of the season, our pregame guest, he has 11 pass deflections coming into the ball game and gets his first interception. And just like that, on their very first play, TCU throws an interception, and we return it for a touchdown. Vogler, Go Vogler, ahead. Vogler went back to pass, and he had one of one Aggie wrapped around him, and he it was Ramsey Brad yeah, no, Marcus, Marcus Buckley. Buckley. Marcus Buckley wrapped around Vogler. He overthrew the football right to Derek Frazier. A whole bunch of the Aggies formed down the right sideline, blocked everybody down, and then Derek Frazier goes for the touchdown. Benatulius now will tack on the extra point. It is up, and uh, he hits that one, and it's now 10 to nothing. And 10.27 to go in the first quarter. Aggies up over TCU. All right, here's another kick. Again, it will be a little bit short. Taken by an up back at the 20. Falls forward at about the 31-yard line. Jade, who has thrown 155 times, will hand off to Motkins. And Motkins gets a yard to the 32. Again, the single setback comes in motion back to the right side. Straight drop by Shade. Throws the ball. Caught out at the 35-yard line. It's going to be Jason Atkinson making the uh, tackle. Third down. Call it five. No setbacks. Three wide outs to the left side. Straight drop. Throw the ball. It is off the hands of the intended receiver. That will be Kyle McPherson, who uh, was there for a moment, and now his lights are out. He's on his back as he was hit by Quentin Coriot. Was it Coriot or Bates? It was Coriot, and boy, did he unload on him. And that is the danger that you face when you come across the middle as a little wide receiver with somebody like Quentin Coriot in there. He caught him right as the ball got there. It was a clean hit, shoulder pad to shoulder pad, but he's still on the ground. He uh, just was, his momentum was carrying him downfield. He just stopped and went two yards back the other way and then hit hard on his back. It may be as much as anything just having the uh, wind knocked out. And he's on his back at the 42-yard line. So, All right, and now here's Bacon. Standing back at his 21, line of scrimmage, the 36. It looked like they were coming, but they're not. It's strictly containment. He got off a bad kick. However, it may get a TCU roll, and it will. And uh, I believe that Kevin uh, Smith just touched the ball, tried to get back away from it, and TCU picked it up. Apparently Kelly Black will pick the ball up. First down and 10 at the Aggie 17-yard line. Shade, their quarterback, changing the play. Blackwell, the tie it in on the right, trips to the left. Aggies are coming. They will miss Motkins in the backfield, but uh, not the second opportunity at him at the line of scrimmage. Motkins out of the ball game. Colors checks in. And a uh, wide out, two wide outs on the uh, left side. Now Shane will throw the football, and he overthrew Colors. His release man, safety valve, here on the right side. Everything covered back to the left from the pocket. He turned, and he tried to get it to Colors and threw it over his head about three or four feet incomplete. Here's the third down play. No setbacks. They are looking at three wide outs on the uh, right and two on the left. Timeouts being called. The 25-second clock had gone down to double zero. We got a timeout on the field, 10 to nothing the score. AM over TCU. You're listening to Texas Aggie Football. <laughs> Following a timeout. There's movement. There's a five-yard penalty against TCU. The uh, tackle on the right side took a step back. Third down and 15. Ball moved back to the 22. Shade 
from the pocket toward the end zone. Overthrew his man, Blackwell. It's right in the middle of the field, so it's a 43-yard effort. What is it? Oh, I'm sorry, it's at the, uh, you're right, 39 yards. It's going to be spotted down at about the 28. It's blocked! And will roll out of the back of the end zone. And I believe that Derek Frazier yes, it was Derek just Frazier. blocked it. Derek has intercepted a pass tonight, returned it for a touchdown of 22 yards, and he just blocked the field goal effort by Wilkinson. And 37 degrees. Bucky takes the snap from center, throws back to the right side to Harrison, makes the reception out to the 35-37 yard line. Let me give you an update on Cal McPherson, who went down earlier. He has a broken jaw, and he will not return. Their receiver with a uh, broken jaw. Bucky with a uh, naked reverse going back to the right side, goes into the Aggie bench right at the line of scrimmage. Chased there by Tunji Bolden. The uh, running backs. Yes, that's still Carter and Hill. They have motion coming back to the open side from Mitchell. Bucky pitches it back to Greg Hill. Hill gets to the 37-yard line. We'll lose one on that. Stopped by Brad Smith and Reggie Anderson. Yeah. Third down and 11. Bucky straight drop. Throws the ball back this direction. Caught at the 49 TCU territory and then hit out of bounds by oh, the wow. TCU back. And he is hit out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Went out at the 48. Single setback. There's a slot to the short side. That's the left. Bucky may have changed the play, and uh, he hands off to Hill, going to the right side. Cuts it back. Nice cut. He stays on his feet, gets a first down to about the 37-yard line. And that was a nice move by Greg Hill going to the right, put the brakes on, and was able to stop and then cut it back at the 40 and got what may be enough yards for the first down. And Hill, the single setback. Carter is the fullback, flared right. And it'll be play action. Bucky sets up, throws the ball. It's going to be to short. Takes it back toward the middle at the 30. Gets it down close to another first down at the 27-yard line. And that uh, got Doug Carter back on, and they're going to give it to Carter. He starts it to the right. Uh, quick move, gets him about three yards. We're in TCU territory at the 24-and-a-half out of an eye formation. And it goes to Hill again. Big old middle, 20 down to the 15. Caught ball in the air. Fumble picked up down at the 4 by TCU. On the return, they go back to the 12, back to the 15, back to the 20, 25-yard line. Knocked out of bounds at the 26 by Bucky Richardson. And a flag goes down. A fumble has given the ball at the uh, four-yard line on the fumble, return back to the 26, and then a penalty backs him up to the 13-yard line. First down at 23. On the ground they go. Flag down. They hit and make the stop at the 15-yard line. First down and now, I guess, 17 from the Aggie 18-yard line. Oh, excuse me, TCU 18-yard line. Hash mark right. Straight drop by Shade. Now he'll throw the ball, and it's deflected. That's almost intercepted by Lance Tackleman. They have a uh, trip formation to the left, and it's a draw out of the backfield. He runs into the back of a blocker, now gets away from that, and gets it out to about the 26-yard line. Ran right into the back of one of his offensive linemen. Third down and 10, trip formation to the left, single setback. Shade from the pocket. Hit as he throws the ball, and it goes incomplete at the 33-yard line. Somebody got him from behind. Line of scrimmage, the 26. Ags with uh, only containment. They'll give him an opportunity to get the kick away. And Kevin will take it at the Aggie 38. Outside return to the 45. Into the Aggie bench he goes. Near midfield at the 48-yard line, Greg Evans will run him out at the 48. So Carter and Hill are the running backs. At the line of scrimmage, which is the 48, a and side of the 50. Give it to Hill. There's a flag down. He gets it. There's another. Send him in the same flag. Though. There were two. He gets it to the 50, and they're stopped there. After a two-yard pickup, Brad Smith will make the stop for TCU. And uh, the TCU defense now indicating that that call is going to be against AM, maybe a holding call. It is a holding call. The referee just signaled it, and I'm sure that TCU will take this one, and the Aggies will be faced with a first and 20 situation. First down and 20. Bucky moving some folks around. We switch from an eye to a uh, split back formation. From the pocket, pumps under pressure. They have to run with the ball. Got a block on the corner. Now he will throw. Has a man deep. Minnie Matthews at the 30, and he fell down when he caught the ball. It was wide open down the sideline, and he fell down. He lost his footing at the 30, but they get a first down on that one. And a nice play by Bucky. The Find enough time to get rid of that ball. Several big plays on, on that out of that one play. Bucky finding the receiver. Ryan Matthews going deep and getting behind the receiver. And Doug Carter had a great block to let Bucky throw the ball. 
Ryan Matthews with that reception. And a delay out of the backfield. Give it to uh, Hill, and Hill gets to the 30. Second down and 10. High formation again. Bucky starts the option. Now he'll pitch, and he pitched it behind Hill, but he was able to hang on. Gets to the uh, 30 and run out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Single setback. Motion from Hill, who flared to the left. We're going to roll to the right. Throw the ball. Has a man. It's going to be Matthews. Did he hang on to that ball? He did! At the six-yard line. Caught it, and then was blasted by Anthony Hickman, and he was able to hang on at the six-yard line. Oh, what a nice catch. Well, earlier we saw Kyle McPherson leave the ball game for TCU with a broken jaw on a pass that he did not catch, and Ryan Matthews caught that ball and was driven into the turf, and the first thing he does when he's on his back is to hold the ball up saying, I got it. Yeah, it's Greg Evans that hit, and he's trying to come out of the game. I think he took the brunt of that punishment. <laughs> it was a brutal lick. How he held on, I don't know, but the Aggies are in business at the six-yard line, first and goal. At the six, hand the ball off to Hill, and Hill will bust across the five and get it down to the four. Greg, the Aggies have been unstoppable except by themselves here in this first quarter. They've got two scoring drives, and the other one will stop on a fumble. Defense keeps and again, it's going to be the option. Bucky on the keeper. Will he get in? He will get in. Touchdown. Stretched the ball across the goal line as he hit. Got that uh, ball out across the goal line into the end zone for a touchdown. Make it 16 to nothing and a minute 24 to go in the first quarter. And the point after to come. That's his eighth touchdown of the season. He's thrown for three. Has rushed for eight. Here's Venetulius paying to hole. Darrell Red, the deep snapper. Spot it down. It's up and uh, it's on the board. And it's 17 to nothing. Aggies up in this one over TCU in the first quarter. A minute 24 to go. And all of that has been into a strong north wind. We're about to get the wind at our back. Call 845-2311 for your season tickets to Texas Aggie basketball. And as we get back, the Aggies have kicked off. And the return on a short kick will get it back to the 30-yard uh, line. And again, if you're just joining us, we're kicking into a strong north wind here tonight. And here's TCU. Ash right from uh, their 30. Play action. Shade throws as he's hit. And the ball is... No, dropped. He dropped it. So Greg uh, continues his numbers. And again, has the record now for the best season ever for a freshman in Southwest Conference history. Beat Earl Campbell's mark of 9.28 set in 1974 here in the first quarter. Shade from the pocket. Uh, pumps his hit as he throws, and he overthrows everybody at the 35-yard line at the AM end of the field. Flip formation to the left. Three wide outs to the left side. 108 to go in the first quarter. He looks back and throws in that direction. Uh, under uh, One of the underbacks, and that'll be caught and get about five yards. From they have but 14 yards in total offense. The Ags have 200 and 12, 212 total offense, Texas A&M. And we are coming up the middle, uh, up the middle, didn't get it, ran into the kicker, it's gonna be a penalty against A&M for running into the kicker at the 25 yard line. First down and 10, running into the kicker, a five yard mark off, they get their first first down. Motkins is coming up near the line of scrimmage and now will flare out to the left. They have four wide outs to the left side. Shade looking, still looking, being forced out of the pocket, will run to the 40, to the 45, and out of bounds into the TCU bench at their 46-yard line. He got five on that. The line of scrimmage was the 41. Let's pause 15 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Aggie football. Second down and about four or five. Play action from the pocket. Throws back right. A overthrew Blackwell at the Aggie 35-yard line, way over his head. Incomplete. 13 seconds to go until they get the wind in their face, and the Aggies get it at their back for the second quarter. Here's Shade again, backs up. He's under some pressure, now he'll get away for a moment. Rolling back to the left side. Now we'll throw the ball, and he overthrew the intended receiver at about midfield, incomplete the ball will go, intended for David Lewis. Well, it kind of plays into their hands because they have five seconds, and this play probably will bring the quarter to an end. Here's the punt, and it's gonna be taken by Kevin at the 15, down around his knees, back to the 20. Have a flag down at the line of scrimmage as he gets the return to the 27-yard line. Ran into heavy traffic. No time remaining here in the uh, first quarter, but we have a flag down on the field, so we have to see the meaning of the flag. And what's it going to be? Holding against the Aggies. 
couple of uh, penalties now. They have two first downs. This penalty moves them down to the Aggie 44. They have a delay out of the backfield. Amatkins hits at the 40, carries a couple of Aggie tacklers with him to the 37. Nice carry by Curtis Motkins. Mark Wheeler ran him down, jumped on his back, and then Motkins was able to carry big wheels with him to the Aggie 37-yard line. And that will leave them shy. Now we're going to now that'll be the end of the quarter. They face the win for the first time tonight at the Aggie 37. And again, they're going to put it on the ground. They give it to Motkins, and he hits the line of scrimmage. Got a half yard more, and that was it. Mark, two on the right. You have two in the slot on the left, the open side. Shade being pressured, rolls to his right, throws the ball, caught, and a first down at the Aggie 28-yard line. Buckley and Neely are the outside linebackers. And Shade at the line of scrimmage. Changing the play with the 25-second uh, clock down to four. Has a setback from the pocket, looking left, throws, and it's caught by I mean, Nowak, I believe, or maybe uh, Shipley. Shipley catches the ball at the 20-yard line, two and a half or so shy of a first down. Second down coming. Slot to the right. Houston in the slot. There was movement against TCU's offensive line. Count the flags, one, two, three, four. A lot of folks saw that one. Two in the slot on the right. And they've got the tight end Blackwell here on the left. Play action. Shade being pressured. Will be sacked. The sack attack got him at the 37. Marcus Buckley. There's a flag. Aggies up. Second down and about two. Out of the backfield. They're going to come back to the near side of the 20. Out of bounds he goes at the 18-yard line. Ingle set back. And two flankers, two wideouts in that direction. They also have two tied in. Vogler takes the snap, gives it to Matkin. Has a first down, has more at the 10. Down to the three-yard line he goes. And rolls out of bounds at about the three or the four. And they'll keep it on the ground, and Motkins will get in for the touchdown. All right, here is... Uh, Jeff Wilkinson, their placement man. He's 22 of 25 on extra points. And he got this one. That makes it 17 to 7. The Ags by 10. We'll be back in a minute. This is the Texas Aggie Network. Now they kick into the win. The return men for the Aggies are standing up about the 12. Generally Simmons and Wilbur Biggins. Can't get an angle on their numbers right now. Here's the kick and it will be short. And here we go with uh, Simmons who drops the ball, picks it up back at the 17, now gets it back to the 20 yard line. Lucky with a single setback, that's Doug Carter. And he'll give it to Doug and Doug has five, has six, has seven out to the 27 yard line. You'd like to go down and get points on this possession. Bags from an eye. And to give it to Hill. Hill has a first down and continues to turn those legs as he gets the ball out across the 30 to about the 33-yard line. 11-20 as the clock rolls in the second quarter. Hash mark left, eye formation. Bucky is changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Douse in his center. Gives him the ball, two steps back, throw the ball, caught by Ryan Matthews out at the 39-yard line. Matthews, his second reception of the night. High formation, and they give it to Doug again. He hits over the middle, has the first down, out to the Aggie 44-yard line. Bucky now in the air, has gone to the air 11 times and nine completions. 11 attempts, nine completions. Again an eye. And Richardson, play action. Throws deep, right side, he has a man. Mitchell, he overthrew him down at the 15-yard line. Matthews now has 10 receptions for the season. With the three he has here tonight, he's in double figures, one of three Aggies. And a delay out of the backfield, flags fly everywhere as we give the ball to Hill, he's across the 50. Ball's at the 50-yard line, we have a single setback. Player to the left, flanker right, tight end also on the right side, that's the open side. And off goes to Hill, and Hill breaks it outside of the 40, down to about the 36-yard line near the 35. Oh, he hit somebody, just knocked him over near the line of scrimmage, 
and just kept on going. Here's first down and 10 at the uh, TCU 36. Hill with a 19-yard carry. Give it to Greg again. No, it's play action. Bucky thrown to the far side, overthrew Ryan Matthews at the uh, six or seven yard line. And he's having trouble gauging how deep he can throw the ball and how much effect the wind will have. Slot formation, option, pitch it to Hill, coming to the right at the 35, at the 30, spins away from one man trying to get to the 30 yard line. He was hit and he got to the 30 and then took a step back and they bring him down at the 31. Carter, the lone setback on this third down play. They're going to throw the ball and it goes incomplete. That, a, that may be a pass behind the line of scrimmage. It was. It was behind the line of scrimmage. It was thrown back behind Bucky rather than on the uh, line of scrimmage or back as a forward pass. And it will be a fumble and recovered by TCU at the 38-yard line. First down and 10. Ash right, single setback, normal formation for TCU. Vogler, their quarterback, stands up, changes the play. Takes the setback and moves him to the right side, the short side of the field. Ags are coming on a blitz, and they're going to get there. Vogler throws the ball, and as he does, it goes incomplete to the far sideline. And Joe Thomas, the official, is knocked down, and he loses his hat. And now Vogler's moving folks in closer to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Takes the ball. Straight drop. Looking. Throws it over the head of the intended receiver. That will be Stephen Shipley. And Shipley had that one way out of reach. He had no chance to bring it down. Incomplete. He was hit as the ball went over his head. Receptions, of course, are important. That gives you the ball. But deflections are as important as bring it out as much. But have some importance to the defensive team. Here's Vogler again from the pocket. Throws. Hit. Takes the reception out at the 45-yard line. That is not a first down. It will be, that was a third down play, and it'll be fourth down coming. The Bacon, their punter, has an average, I think, about, uh, oh, 35 yards per kick this season. Here's the punt, taken at the 23. The return by Smith is going to be to the 26-yard line. Split in right, flanker left, and the handoff goes to Hill. Hill is wrapped up. Here's Doug Carter at fullback. Greg Hill remains in at tailback. Greg now... 16 carries, 61 yards, option, Hill has a hole, 30, 35, into the uh, sideline he goes to the Aggie uh, bench, has a first down at the 37-yard line. Greg, uh, his longest run of the season has been 42 yards. He came into the game tonight with 160 carries and those 900 yards. He now has 971. Option, pitch it again, Greg, coming right side, the open side at the 40, at the 45, out to the 50-yard line. Another first down. He got about 12, or uh, yeah, about 12 yards on that carry. Ash right, the ball's at the 50 on a first down play. Bucky, and gives it to Doug Carter. Carter turns the corner, that's minimal yardage, to uh, about the TCU 48 and a half yard line. Second down play. Bucky will throw, looking right. Now Stamper's out of the pocket, now throwing deep down the sideline. This one is going to be tapped away, and it caught by Harrison. Harrison on a tap, will catch the ball, and then run it into the end zone for a touchdown. I guess we're going to call that 48 yards. And here's the uh, point after, and it's good by Terry Benetulius. There's the points we were looking for. The counter, that touchdown by TCU here in this quarter. And what a nice play by Tony Harrison as that ball looked like it was going to be intercepted and he was doing nothing other than to try to keep the ball from being a turnover. He tapped it up in the air. The two uh, defenders ran together and fell down with the ball still in the air. Tony Harrison ran under it and took it into the end zone for the touchdown. It's 24 to 7 at the 541 mark here in the first half and you're listening to Aggie football. Now, uh, Kevin Smith's going to hold the ball on the team. Benatulius has his hand in the air. Let's see if he can kick it out of the back of the end zone with that wind at his back. Here it comes. It's in under in, and it is going to be taken at the two. And they'll get a return. Houston out to the 20-yard uh, line. Game tackled at about the 23-24 yard line. There's a push from behind. Now we're going to get a flag. I guess it should DCU. be against DCU. Aggies have been penalized now seven times for 63 yards. And their first play will be Motkins, and Motkins is hit at the 34. And that will be Big Sam Adams. Here's Frazier. Coriot is the only inside linebacker left out there on the field. That's the moves we make. They've got three wideouts left and a single setback. 
Vogler, straight drop, throws the ball, and it is caught this time by Black, uh, Black Willis Shipley. Shipley will make the reception at the 41-yard line. Three wide outs to the open side on the right. Vogler has time, throws the ball, will be caught by Blackwell. He's going to be close for the first down. Out at about the 48-yard line. And Vogler gives them back up. Blackwell did not leave the game. He was, he was chased back out on the field. And a delay out of the backfield again. Watkins uh, trying to get the corner. He'll never make it. There's a loss back to the 44-yard line. Two in the slot on the uh, left. Two wide outs on the right. Vogler throwing. Caught. Will not be anywhere near the yardage they need on a second down and long. They got about three on that. Third down and 12. They need the Aggie 41 for a first down. Vogler with everybody going out. Running to the right, throwing deep, has a man, that's out of bounds. That was Shipley, but he's out of bounds, down around the Aggie 28-yard line. And it will bring up fourth down and punt time. A win here by the Aggies tonight would uh, definitely knock them out of any hopes at all. They've got to have a lot of help from other schools if they are going to contend uh, for a... Uh, Cotton Bowl trip, which they're talking about tonight. Here's the punt. Kevin Smith runs up on that. Now it's going to hit at the 21 and roll inside the 20 and be killed at the 17. And a first and 10. Hand it off to McAfee, looking for the right corner. Won't find it. He gets back to the line of scrimmage. Actually, to the left corner. Second down, still about 10 from our 18. Ash left. Bucky changing the play. One from an eye formation. Take the ball, two steps back, throw it to the sideline. Caught out at the 40, down to the 45, out to the, well, out of bounds at the 45. And that will be Wilbert Biggins. Is that Wilbert? It is. Number, is that 21 or 81? Let's get an angle here. That's 81, Ryan Matthews. It was Ryan. Was it Ryan Matthews? I'm almost Ryan sure Matthews. they caught the ball. Here's the uh, first down play, and it's play action from the pocket. Throw to the far sideline. Caught again by Matthews. And out of bounds at the 32-yard line. 273 passing is his best ever. He's now to 273 passing the ball on 12 of 16 tonight. Start the option and keep the ball. He will spurt across the 30 and go to about the 27-yard line. Here's the second down play with a minute 29 to go. Out of the backfield. Here goes Simmons down to the 20. And inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. There's the first down. Stop the clock. The Ags trying to get a knockout punch here to end the... Uh, First half, they're ahead 24 to 7. They have controlled this ball game. They've given up a touchdown to TCU, but that was one of those weird drives that flag helped a whole bunch. Just a lot of strange plays. McAfee back in the lineup. Simmons will be the fullback. Mack is the uh, tailback. And it's play action. Bucky looking, now rolling to the left. Still looking, still looking. Toward the end zone, he's going to throw that away. Split back. Richardson. Great drop again. Looking back right. Throws. Caught. Brian Mitchell almost lost his balance. Now he keeps his balance and he's into the end zone. That is a touchdown. He lost his balance. Went down with his right hand at the six. Got back up and fell into the end zone for a touchdown. This was about a 10-yard hook pattern. Delivered the ball very well, Bucky Richardson did. It was caught and... It looked as if the receiver was going down to the turf. He spun around, left the defender. Tony Rand laying on the turf and went in for the touchdown. That makes it 30 to uh, 7. Here's the point after, and uh, TCU jumped off. They got back. No flags. The extra point is up, and it's through and through, and that makes it 31 to 7. Marketing department. There's his kick, and under in. And will be taken at the one-yard line on the return back to the 10 and knocked down at the 15-16 yard line. And that uh, was the Aggies' Reggie Graham who got the return man. And TCU with under a minute, they'll keep it on the ground and he's going to be swarmed for the loss. And they have been Motkins. Motkins back at the, they're going to give him the 16, so that's a yard loss. Take the ball and hand it off. Coming left, looking for the sideline, and he will go out of bounds at the 19-yard line. 31 to 7 is the score. AM up over TCU. And again, they're going to keep it on the ground. And once more, it'll be colors. He goes to the uh, 21. Now with seven seconds. That's probably going to be the last play. Both teams are going to be heading for their uh, oh wait a minute. Somebody take a time. I guess the did they call us? Somebody called a timeout. Aggies take a, Aggies take a timeout. They stopped the clock for some reason. Well, it may be that we're going to try to get to him. Let's see if we've got uh, the block on here. 
There's nobody, nobody back, back. And a lot of pressure here on uh, Beacon. Back at the six. And they are coming. They don't get to him. They ran into him, but there will be no penalty. And the ball will hit at about the 40-yard line. And time will uh, run out here in the first half. <laughs> so nothing happens. And a uh, timeout trying to make a punt to see if they could get to the ball. Doesn't work. And that's the end of the first half, 31-7. to The Aggies up over TCU on a cold night in uh, Fort Worth. Dave Elmendorf will be back with our first half recap on the Southwestern Bell Yellow Pages halftime show. This is the time. Texas A&M University has a rich heritage of athletic excellence. From the days of jarring John Kimbrough to the time when Charlie Kruger and I played here under Coach Bryant, Texas A&M has been associated with excellence on the playing field. Today's student athletes are carrying on traditions of excellence on the playing field and in the classroom as well. All of this is made possible through the support of individuals and corporations who contribute generously to the 12th Man Foundation. The 12th Man Foundation supports the scholarships of over 350 students in 16 men and women sports at Texas A&M University. This past spring, 179 of these young men and women were honored for achieving a grade point average of 3.0 or better. We're proud of these young people and the job they are doing, and we appreciate your continued support of the 12th Man Foundation and athletic excellence at Texas A&M University. here 31 to 7 as we get ready for the last 30 minutes of uh, football at Eamon Carter Stadium young man Motkins may have uh, broken his leg we'll just have to wait and see Curtis Motkins they put an air splint on his leg when they took him off the field he's their starting uh, running back uh, matter of fact had more yardage than any other running back on this ball team and let's see in that uh, in that category I'll find it here in a minute Top rushers, he, uh, Watkins was number one. Here's Venetulius, and he's just kicked it off to start the second half. From the two comes the return, and maybe Houston, and he gets it out across the 20, out to the 25-yard line. 31-7, to seven, the big story here has been the uh, total offense. 419 yards for the Aggies. 278 of it through the air by Bucky Richardson. 13 of 18 passing the ball tonight. Boy, what a night. This is uh, from a guy that they say they can't throw the ball. And has the most yardage ever in his career at Texas A&M. And they will hand off. Is that Motkins? Motkins lined up in the backfield. They put an air splint on that leg and took him off on that gurney. And I talked to their sports information staff. They were under the impression that he probably had broken his leg or had a bad problem with the knee, but he's right back in there. He's the single setback. And Vogler, the quarterback, sets up and throws, and it goes incomplete at the 29-yard line. That right in and out of the hands of Angel Alvarez. Here is Vogler again. Straight drop back. Throws the ball over the head of the intended receiver, Mike Nowak. Oh, and Vogler is down and writhing in pain on the ground. He's not getting up. Quickly. He was hit as he threw the ball, and he's down back at the 15-yard uh, line. Matter of fact, we've had a lot of nice comments in some of these letters. We appreciate that. All right, uh, here's the punt after Vogler's taken off, and this punt's going to be held up high in the air, and uh, Kevin's going to call for a fair catch. I think he called a fair catch after he caught the ball. <laughs> so I had first down, and they just jumped off sides, and we pitch going to the left side to Greg Hill. Turns the corner. He'll get uh, about five yards, maybe four, as he goes to the 45. Greg Hills, the all-time rushing leader for a freshman. And the handoff goes to Doug Carter. Carter gets a yard, maybe two, as he bounces it out to about the 48-yard line. Second down and about three. Need the 49. Greg Hill to midfield, fighting for the first down. 
He's going to have it, I believe. He needed to cross the 49 and TCU into the field, and he's going to be very close for a first down there. The Aggies with 19 in the first half. And T a first down at the 48 and a half. And they give it to Carter. Carter hits to the uh, left side, and he's across the 45. Here's a second down. Just inside the 45. Bucky rolling to the right, wants to throw, does, and he throws it behind. Now, he wanted to throw a sideline pass, but he threw it behind short. That was the second uh, receiver, and he threw it behind him about three or four yards into the turf. Aggie's first possession of the second half, moving with the wind at our back. Strong north wind on a cold night in Fort Worth that saw snow fall, very light snow in the very beginning of the ball game. Richardson takes the ball and rolls back to the left. Got a great block, hits a sideline pattern at the 30, and then Tony Harrison trying to get away will be dropped at the 28-yard line. He caught the ball on the sideline. We've got a quarterback warming up on the sideline. It's going to be Darren Schultz rather than Tim Shade. He's going to apparently play for the first time this year, at least to get any figures. Here is uh, Carter. Carter on a handoff, got a yard. Second down and 10. Pitch coming to the right side. Greg Hill at the 20, at the 15, and that'll be it. He's hit on the uh, back and uh, driven into the turf. Actually, he's a split in. Out of an eye. Give it to Greg. Greg has five. Well, shy of five. There's a flag down. First down, and uh, scoreboard says 20 on the holding. Back outside the 25. Bucky on a delay. To, no, it was a bootleg. And they throw the ball, and it's going to be intercepted down at the five-yard line. Return back to the 25 to the 30 by Greg Evans. Evans tackled at the 42-yard line. But Bucky didn't deliver this ball quick enough. The safety was able to react over and pick it off, and he returned it out to the 42-yard line. Darren Schultz has uh, come in, and here's a flag down as the pitch go to the right. They'll be tackled back at the 40. Quentin Coriat got the uh, tackle on Curtis Motkins. First down and five. Two wide outs to the short side on the right. Schultz, handoff, colors, colors to midfield, and that's it. Over 1,000 rushing for the season. The snap from center is dropped. There's a fight for the fumble. Let's see who got it. Apparently, TCU fell on it. Schultz, the quarterback, lost the snap from center and then fell on it. And Schultz dropping back. There's going to be a holding call against uh, TCU, I believe. Now he'll run with the ball. Gets back to midfield and then the 49 and the A&M into the field. Third down and 21. They need the A&M 47-yard line. They have a single setback. Darren Schultz playing for the first time this season on play action. Now will be quarterback sack. There's the sack attack. It's led by big Sam Adams. Sam will drop him back at the TCU 19-yard line. And for Sam, that will be his fifth quarterback sack of the season. He's been, well, Schultz, the first victim of the sack attack. We've never had less than four in a ball game. Back at the 19, outside containment, and the kick is a bad one and uh, will be killed at the TCU 49-yard line. Number 3474788. Here's a first down play from the TCU 47. Play action. No, it's a handoff as they give it to Carter, and Carter gets the 46. He got a yard out of that. And we're going to get a quick third quarter tonight. And look, it's only 6.30 to go until the end of the third quarter after two weeks of tough ones. Bucky will throw the football, and it's dropped by Doug Carter at the 38-yard line. He had it and then dropped it as uh, Bucky rolled to the short side of the field here on the right. Here's a third down and nine. Straight drop back, sets up. Now a little jitterbug off to the left, being chased. Needs a block to get out of the way. He's going to run, now throw the ball, and it's going to be caught at the 35. That's going to be a first down. After all is said and done, he got a first down to the 32, and Brian Mitchell caught the ball, finally uncovered. And Bucky got a great block from one of his linemen as he rolled to the uh, right side toward the TCU bench and then hit Mitchell at the 32-yard line. First down and 10 at the 32. Mitchell in motion, going to the left side. Out of an eye, give it off to Carter. Carter, big hole, down to the 20, carries a man down to the 17-yard line. And he sets up tight end to the left side. Short stays in the ball game. He's flaring out here on the right. We've got two wideouts, Mitchell and Harrison. And now Bucky is changing the call as Short steps back a couple of feet from the line of scrimmage. Bucky to throw, looking toward the end zone. And he just overthrew Brian Mitchell. Incomplete. Single setback is Doug Carter. Three wide outs on the right. One of those, Short, and that's his Short who is short in. Here's the handoff to uh, Carter. He goes to the 15. He got two there. The Aggies show them a, a split back formation. Linker right, split in left. 
straight drop back from the pocket. Bucky may run with the ball now, and he'll throw the ball. And he threw it as he hit the line of scrimmage, down to the two, and that's going to be a completion. Timed it perfectly, and he hit uh, Bryant at the uh, two and a half. Here's a uh, first and goal. McAfee trying to get to the corner. He's hit and gets about the two, maybe the one and a half. Yeah, Gross and uh, Carter. Split backs. And the snap from center was fumbled. Did Bucky get it? I think Bucky fell right on top of it. Bump. Keith Alex and Jones are the tackles. Back to the line of scrimmage. Bucky on the option, trying to get outside. Did he get in? They said he did. He stretched out the ball, got it across the end line. <laughs> and it's a touchdown. He was caught at the one and just threw the ball, handed the ball over the uh, end line, and slapped it down just about six inches deep in the end zone. Well, that and Brian Payne will hold, and Atulius will try to tack it on. And it's a fake. Or either that, it was uh, here as they pass into the end zone, trying to go for two, and Brian Payne just threw an incomplete pass. And it's 37-7 with 2.59 remaining here in the uh, third quarter, and the Aggies up now by 30 points. You're listening to Texas Aggie Football. And then Bucky took it on the... Uh Option to the left, took it in the last two yards, uh, stretching out over the goal line. Two-point try failed, and the Aggies lead 37-7. to Scored 38 last week against Rice. Here is the kick, and he puts that one in the end zone. They'll go down on one knee. Venetulius with a nice one there to the uh, far side of the end zone. It's first down and 10 out at the 20. And Schultz will remain in at quarterback. He'll hand off, and they'll hit for two across the 20, out to about the 22-yard uh, line. Here comes TCU once again to the line of scrimmage. Darren Schultz stays in at the quarterback position, playing his first, uh, getting his first action of the season. Straight drop back, throws off to the right. It's caught, and up the sideline, out to the 40, down to about the 43, 44-yard line, caught by Harper. They lost Leon Clay earlier this season. Ogler and Shade have gone out of the game tonight. Motkins on a handoff, two-yard loss, back to the 40. Back at the 40-yard line, there's a loss. They say two, so it's second down and 12. Hash right. Two wide outs to the short side. Schultz from the pocket. Throws to the right side. And a pass will be caught at the 45. That's a pickup of about five yards. Three wide outs to the open side. Schultz now changing things around. We better Four hurry. seconds, three seconds. We'll take on the time out. Now time out. Third down and about eight. After the timeout, they have four wideouts here on the left side. There is movement in their offensive line. They're going to be penalized five yards. 48 seconds to go until the end of the third quarter. It's 37-7. to Bucky with 359 yards in total offense Saturday against Rice. He has 364 tonight for a two-game uh, two grand total of 723 by a far an A&M record for two games in total offense. Here is uh, Schultz being chased, throws, and it's going to be uh, caught out at about the 49-yard line by Stephen Shipley. That will not be enough for a first down, and Schultz showed a lot of savvy then. And that will send uh, Trey Bacon out on the field to uh, kick it away. He has kicked tonight seven times. This is his eighth. He's kicking into that win. It's going to be a fake, however, and it will short. not work. It's going to be short at the Aggie 48-yard line. They needed the 47. goes in motion. We've got a uh, new backfield back there, and they're going to pitch to Rodney Thomas around the right side at the uh, 50. Trying to shake free. Gets to about the 48-yard line. We'll pick up four. Will Rodney. Aggies have it on a second down and six from the TCU 48. Motion again. Wilbert Biggins back to the near side. And the handoff goes to uh, Simmons. Simmons across the 40 down to the 36-yard line. And it's a first down. At the 36-yard line, Ash right, high formation. Granger now operating the team as the quarterback. Long count. And they snap the ball, give it to the tailback. That'll go to uh, Rodney. Rodney across uh, the 35 to the 32-and-a-half-yard line. Reggie Anderson made the TCU stop. Brian Kearns also in that offensive line now for the Aggies. And Granger hands off to Rodney. And Rodney spins away from a tackle. Now will not get away from a second. He hit the middle. 
Spun away there and then bounced it outside. Got it to the 33. That's the line of scrimmage. Flair to the left. That's Simmons. Single setback will be Rodney Thomas. And Granger wants to throw. Rolling back to the left side. The left-hander throws down the sideline. And it's uh, tapped up. Almost intercepted and almost caught by Biggins on our second deflection of the night. We need the TCU 26. Granger called signals. Drops straight back at the 40. Now under pressure, has the ball stripped away. It's on the turf. The Aggies and Jeff Jones will fall on it back at the 43. And on downs, it will be TCU to take over. Schultz, their quarterback, will hand off. They hit the left side, got a yard and a half. But all three are at home. Getting into the stretch drive of the Southwest Conference race. Option, it will be Schultz across the 45. And now a, a third down play. Throwing as he is hit, and it's incomplete down at the 25-yard line. So they stand at seven. This one is given back to Beacon, and it comes off to the right side. He is kicking it. It's at the five and now into the end zone. He's trying to hit that sideline, and it rolls into the end zone. And on the touchback, brought out to the 20. We've got 516 yards in total offense. We're going to get a timeout down on the field. 37-7 to seven is the score. Aggies up over TCU. You're listening to Texas Aggie football. Two faces just about in that lineup. Granger's the quarterback, and he hands off to the fullback. That will be, I think that's Bill Simmons there. Let's see if maybe Cliff Gross has come in. That's Cliff Gross. Second down and six for the Aggies. At our 24, Granger give it off to... But Randy Simmons. Cliff Simmons. Simmons moves back to a yeah, tailback moved back spot. back tailback, and we've got Cliff Gross in there at fullback. And that's Gross on the right, and Simmons on the left on a third down and three. Granger is the quarterback, and they handle the delay out of the backfield as they give it to Gross. He goes across the 30 and gets it to the 31-yard uh, line. That's a first down for the Aggies. We're counting those up to 28 now. First down and 10 at the 32-yard uh, line. Granger again, a handoff coming to Gross. Across the 35 to about the 37-yard line. 204 rushing now, now up to 208. Got another player down for TCU. I think that's uh, Thomas Lewis, defensive tackle. But he's getting up now, and they'll help him off the field, limping on his right leg. 208 rushing, 324 passing tonight for 532 yards. In total offense, and I don't think, uh, Dave, uh, we have any starters in there right now. Greg Cook is the center. He's out over the ball. Granger will uh, follow him. Ryan Curran is the uh, left guard. Motion from Diggins coming back to the right side. Going to pitch it. It's going to Simmons to the right. And he's running into a lot of traffic and a yard loss back to the 35-yard line on our calendar of events. Third down play, straight drop back by Granger, left-hander throws, and uh, led his intended receiver a little bit too much. Extend to the win here, line of scrimmage is the 35, and they are coming. They didn't get to it, and again, it's gonna hit into the win, a fair catch being called for at the TCU 35-yard line. Game time temperature was 37, expected to fall down into the low 30s. Have Reggie Graham and Trent Lewis in as the inside linebackers as TCU has the ball at their 35, first down and 10. Schultz, the quarterback, wants to throw over the middle, and it will be caught by Shipley. Spins away from a man, still on his feet, down to the 29-yard line. Schultz is a junior, two letters out of Eulis. He's 6'1", 203, pretty good size. Here's a first down play, and they will hand it off as they go to the left side to Dickens, and Dickens gets it to the line of scrimmage, and that was all. Lance Tackleman made the stop there. Lance... Here's TCU and Schultz throwing again. It'll be caught here on the sideline once more by Shipley, and he tries to spin away and is able to get to the 23-yard line. A pickup of five or six yards, and they will face a second down. Right now we've got 531. Third down play, straight drop Schultz. Now a step to the right, throws toward the end zone, and he goes incomplete. The intended receiver was Mike Houston. He drew coverage from Derek Frazier. Frazier, and that went incomplete in the end zone. Fourth down play. They're at the line of scrimmage. Schultz 
looking left, being chased. Quarterback sack, Reggie Graham. And meanwhile, A&M has racked up 28. Petty will hand off to the uh, tailback, turn the corner. Thomas will go to the 39-yard line. He got four there. Second down and six. High formation again, hash left. Here's Petty. Petty handing off once more to Rodney. Rodney breaks away. He's going to go to the 45, looking for the corner. He'll run right over a guy and gets it to the 50-yard mark. Motion back to the left side by Biggins. Hand off straight ahead. Second down and eight at the TCU 48. Petty at quarterback. Play action. Petty's going to roll back to the right on a keeper. And will run for nearly a first down, almost to the 40 on Kent Petty. Third down, very short. And they will hand off to Cliff Gross and Gross. And Gross picks up a first down across the 40, but shy of the 39. They don't get playing time that, that much. Here's the handoff to Rodney. Left side, tripped up, keeps his balance, goes to the 33-yard line. <laughs> Second down and about four at the 33. Drop, run the option. Petty on the keeper, turns the corner to the 32, down, down, excuse me, 27-yard line. He got a first down, did Kent Petty. <laughs> Or for a minus 26, but he's had a couple of good runs here as Ken. Dad went to uh, Texas. And at the 28-yard line, here he goes. First down. Rodney Thomas again trying to hit the corner. Slips a tackle. Still fighting. They're going to push him out of bounds. Whistles will blow. And he got to the 23-yard line, did Rodney Thomas. Hand off Cliff Gross. He had off a guy, and they hit helmets, and he's still driving. Hit helmets and got to the 16-yard line. And that is another first down. That's at SMU. First down and 10 at the 17-yard line. I formation. Petty, give it to Thomas. Thomas at the 10. Thomas cuts back at the 5, down to the 1. And he'll be stopped at the 1-yard line. First and goal. Rodney on the ground now has 8 carries, 49 yards. That uh, beats his previous best, LSU, 12 for 38. And Rodney will get the call. I don't think Rodney got in. Stopped at the goal line inside the one. He carried 12 times. Uh, 12 times for 81 yards. His longest run in that game was uh, 38. So this is not his best tonight. He had 12 for 81. The long run was 38. Looked at the wrong figure. So he punches that one inside the one but shy of the goal. Second down and goal. And Rodney dives. Touchdown. There it was. Rodney Thomas with the touchdown, his second of the season. Could make it 44 to seven. Brian Payne will hold. We threw for two out of this earlier. This is one. And it's good. And it is 44 to seven with a minute and three seconds remaining in the uh, ball game. Lady Aggie basketball for the 1991-92 season. He's happy with this victory tonight. And uh, they will go straight ahead to the 50-yard line. It was yes, hurricane. It was. All right. It was number 40, not 42. So Hurricane got an interception and brought it out to the two to end the ball game. It's all over with here at uh, Heyman Carter. And the Aggies have won it by a score.